I think the reason why the number of teenage pregnancies on the rise is because there's no sense of true education, you know, like um, real relevant and, um, you know, up to date or accurate information about sexual intercourse. pregnant. <laughs> Because of because The cause of that, in the way how I'm thinking, is because of poverty and the girls, you know, especially the young ones, they are looking for money. It's what I, you know, I'm thinking of. Parents of today don't guide their kids. Uh, I've, I've heard one parent telling the, the child, what, yeah, I was pregnant. I mean, how can you tell your child to do that? It's, it's really wrong. You need to advise your child what's there, and then we, we tend to, to focus more on ourselves as parents. Sometimes it's our responsibility because we have to be close to our daughters to make them aware of what is happening outside there and the consequences as well. And also to know what's, what, what do they want in their future. The parents say that they are going to be able to get their parents and they are going to be able to get their parents and they are going to be able to get their parents. If ever pregnant First of all, we have to be friends with them, make them know exactly what are the consequences and what do they want in their future. So if they are aware of what they want, then we'll be able as well to prevent that. Play with your child. Uh, remind your child is your, you are the parent, the child is a child. This thing of being friends with your child is totally wrong because you end up discussing adult things too early. Jumela ngrala amukela mo go daily tetter on SABC1 na ka lebitso ke na Nicolette wa gamashile mwana wa kwa Bosch pa Krishma planning se le bonne mo the insert of blabla ka tabaya teenage pregnancy mo South Africa we know go report by statistics South Africa era the bana between the ages of 10 and 19 they contribute to 13.9% of registered children in this country which that then means go children between the ages of 10 and 19 guys as young as 10 years old are young mothers in this country that is a serious problem that we need to be looking at. But questions are really bad. Like, now, have we gotten to the point where we have normalized teenage pregnancy in the country? But also, now, are you pregnant? Are you under the age of 18? If you know it's the legal age in South Africa, do we then say it was rape? What is it? How do we look at it? Do we fight it? Or have we just become a country that says, you know what? There's nothing that we can do. Kini, what do you say or how do you advise some of your neighbors? nephews and nieces in terms of teenage pregnancy. I think the important part is that we need to talk to kids about sex. Mm -hmm. uh, is sex education in Balegile as early as possible? Mm -hmm. I don't think there's a time where you say good it's very early criminal because by the time it will call to Krumana we are so early. Uh, we are so late mm -hmm. that's what mm -hmm. we're gonna be talking about I'm trying to and also finding out it Lama status Krumanga Oh, but I'm not going to because I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. And the CPs are just going to Give us a call, a cry, or a panel. You're going to be able to do it. Welcome to your daily chat. Thank you. But let me come to you. Uh, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next um, mm. Mm. Why? 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 
Okay, in Kulumit Kani, so Jay Koba Mutanga Enga Engam Tanda, Gambon and Gamtanda, Satandan. Say, Guam Nandi, Guam Nandi, Mangavis and Kulelo is at Kalagi in Kinga cake. Guanzi, Manjagi, me, as Bedle, la, like what was a possible Yenala Panala Pia. Go to our Tennessee Solomon, as far as I know, in King as a Kalagi, a poik, yes, a color. But Jong Umto Musha, Escol and Beming and Fundis in Isintos of Balegela, like um, your pet controls, eh, Lapama condoms in danger, and let's hope we get good to Lapung and Tolumton Sascolin. Gang Amber Mangus Colin Sas Fundis, or Fusings or Kulumikanis on Am, Gang Preventa, Nakulela Minanga Ting Jova, Nasolumton and Jova, and Futumtana, like Nanga, I born Jenginum to an Angi born and Fundi, Lingi rights in Pilipile rights, so Namanum to an Anga Mukela, we are born so in Jeng Pilipile rights, Manjanum Tana, Miss Rights. Okay, so yeah. because if you get the feeling, and Nicolette, is that Abanto Abasugebe Batalang Nengan, obvious mom Talang and Umkondo, who's a child, Papa Marangango, so Gululu would we loot and it could say Kulele as well. You know, I will say Zanele Moriko Horna, what are some of the reasons why teenage pregnancy perhaps happens here in South Africa? Requele more in the insert, Honali says, I ring sometimes because Bashimanyana couldn't tum Ababulibona about sex and what the consequences of having sex is. Some people say, "Ah, wa banyana wa pa falang pregnant wa bata grant yaga government." So, this is Anela Wena, who also felt pregnant as a teenager. Aur wa tsa khorna. What were some of the reasons? How did you find yourself? Co situation is on. Lumelang. Some of the reason ki peer pressure li batwa di basa guiding manababon. Hmm. Kyo ne tsangu be teenage pregnant. So, Wena, how did it happen? Na kona ne kilo ngano tsa manga dula kisna pleke estable handle. Hmm. It was because I had nowhere to go. Mm, mm. So at that point, I was pregnant, and I so really that much knowledge. Or I had to get pregnant. So it's a only pregnant. Because I was like, 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 I was uh, education and contraceptive that young people have access to. But now you want access to the internet. Uh, I can't know. 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 I can't because mm. mm. of how is our taking already how na power or toy aka hari ibe yena qetella nga butsa ona wa ngata o fa wena pressure o dumele jwalo go swentse molato so ya ata ka mogwatse le jwalo o bonang o bona family le tlotsona pele ka bophela sure kini and i think that's one of the things that we need to be looking at gore na ke responsibility amang when it comes to these kind of things gore na who is supposed to actually have the condom between the young girl and the young boy i think go 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 say ihlazo na manje mapexisa kahle ukuthi ngaphandle kwabantu bana bancane nabantu besifaza so that's what we're going to be diving deep and talking about mass blue break in Assam. So, okay, tell us about after this. Welcome back to Italy Tata. Sibuga Abantu Basha Gakulia Zabasa Sekoli Naba Kulela Guti. Imbange Lako Nagini. Let's find out who to end. Ngokbona Nagwa Kogini. And make him be as well if Unalo Ekaya. Give us a call. It's 011-339-1315. But let's check on social media, friends. Utini Uti. The fact is that teenagers do not believe in using condoms. Therefore, an advanced sex education is important. And a compulsory birth control should be introduced. I don't know about that because there was a time a eh, Colin we were introduced some condoms as well. Abazali where some people are about no. Eh, Lento is a is a encourage abantu to go to Benz sex, but see a bona footy. The Sakube Galea Nuga is in a corner. On the couch, young man, we do have Dr. Spongile Nomgaga. Welcome to E. Teddy Chatama. Thank you for having Not me. Not only are you just a medical doctor, but you're also a contraceptive expert. I don't know what is that, but you're going to be telling us more <laughs> about that. Let's take a call. Anonymous, uh, welcome to E. Teddy Chatama. 
Si kono njano na sisi. Nyapi. Story sako uh, at the age of 18 utolum to ana tell us more go to pregnant kwenza ka lenjano. Oh, when I was in the Kalangi one, because of me, it's ever since it's my first year of a city that there's other than Albam Gabashi Kaya. Yeah. And then other Albam being as in Bantam Kuman Abu Babonu Kuman of Stanley, Maman Bianca, and Elizabeth was a matter of control. Yeah. Now, Figala, now Munga, and now Booza High. Twenty seconds, and they are still telling me to be the other cousin of a sort of corner. Yeah. So I know this man, I've been thinking, I'm trying to let say, Miss Kissy, I want to use the next day of his mamma and stores and one you have one in England. Anonymous, yeah, Anonymous, let me ask you a question because I won't go to Ipe Lenkulomoyak. Is it because mm -hmm. of when I was to Panga Moloazi, mm. or you blaming Abazal Bakuti? They never actually set you down with Kazel about Lesinto, or maybe you just ignore it. You blame Abazal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's see the conversation like not doctor to find out compared to Bazali Bang and Genaganjan as many singular. Welcome to Italy Teta. Let's jump straight to Anonymous as many sa kukana nguti abazala bam chelanga and abanga na bam kazelanga na as well. I'm sure this is not the first time with the stories for analysis. Yeah, the reality is that we take it for granted that young girls know mm -hmm. or they are free enough to ask about contraception. Yeah. So now what we're saying is that as parents, we need to be able to start the conversation. So mm. your child should be able to come, not come to you and ask you. Mm. You should be able to start having the conversation about but contraception. As soon as they start getting their menses, because mm. once you menstruate, mm. there's always a possibility of falling pregnant. Mm. So as part of saying, when you've got your periods, you're going to have blood coming out, you're going to have to use sanitary pads, yeah. and this is a better of taking care of, self, of yourself, the next step must be, you also are able to fall pregnant once you have your periods. Mm. So the conversation must start that early mm. so that the child knows that there's pregnancy. Mm. And more importantly, I, I mean, we stigmatize mm. sex. Like when you have sex, you're going to fall pregnant. Mm. We shouldn't be talking about child, children having sex to yeah. fall pregnant. We should be talking about children preventing the pregnancy. Mm. But let me just quickly come in before, Nicolette, uh, because according to the intuition, once what girl is like, then my chances to sing about pregnant. Some abandoners start as early as 10, as early as 11. So, um, to an um, um, Zimbabwe, at what age in Mpela OT at this age, singing Zagala no mind? As soon as they start their periods, anything can happen because remember, all you need to fall pregnant is that for an egg to be fertilized by a sperm. Mm. You already have the womb, you know, as a woman, you're born with it. Yeah. So, that the, the menstruation means that your body is now ready mm. to accommodate this baby. So, that's why we get uh, kids falling pregnant very young because we make an assumption that less than a certain age, yeah. you can't have a child. Mm. There's no way you'll fall pregnant, you know. I, I mean, I still meet uh, girls that are in their 20s who tell me about withdrawal. Mm. Mm. No, I'm not using contraception, but my boyfriend takes it out on time. Mm. We know that that's only 78% of protection. Let's, let's talk a little bit about the impact of, of perhaps maybe, we've, we heard on social media more, or they pretend like they don't know about the condom. Okay? And then Kini also alluded to the fact that Honali, a place, a school, where parents were also against the condom. It was, and yeah, it, it was a proposal. Yes, yeah, it was a proposal. Yeah. So you, as a doctor who's also a contraceptive um, expert, are some of the impact that starting the contraceptive may have on your body so that we get a better understanding because people have this idea contraceptives it means that i'm going to gain weight i'm going to be, do this and do that the reality is that uh, contraceptives have got hormones mm. and because hormones have got other side effects they will be different with every person mm. but the important thing is that you need to understand that we want to prevent this pregnancy so that these children can have a better future yes so it's a matter of balancing the pros and cons. Mm. So am I going to take a risk of falling pregnant, dropping out of school and not completing my future? Or am I going to be protecting my child by telling them the enough information? Because remember, once we're empowered, it's easier to say no. Mm, mm. You know, so we're not only going to think that they're going to say automatically now that they are using contraception, they're going to say yes. Mm. But they're going to know more about the contraception. They're going to know more about the prevention of the pregnancy. Mm. And that gives them the confidence to have a discussion with their boyfriend. I mean, you can say to your boyfriend, like, listen, I'm not ready to have a baby because if this happens, this yeah. is what's going to happen. So the conversation is not more about what contraception will do to the body, mm. but that confidence that a young person, a young guy can yeah. have a decent conversation about preventing this thing with or without the hormones. Mm. Because the hormones do have side effects, unfortunately. Okay. There's a, a, a comment coming in from OJ and Hilala. Um, in metric and life science class, we were taught about fertility, uh, but you wouldn't be surprised when I say around about 30 to 40% of those learners became mothers and fathers during and after uh, that year. 
Uh, that's why I suggest that it uh, for them at the early, early age of 10 years to be a must. Would you suggest that? I wouldn't. Sure. Definitely Depo. not. Mm -hmm. Definitely not because remember that a depot is an old contraceptive. Mm -hmm. It's there, it's been around. But you're making assumption that people know how to use a condom. Mm -hmm. I, mean, yes. I can put condoms in the toilet at school, yeah. but it doesn't mean these kids will take it and use it correctly. They mm -hmm. can still take it, mm -hmm. put it in the pocket, yeah. and think that if it's in the pocket, it's going to work. Mm -hmm. You know. So it's not only about putting it out there. And yeah. depot, I mean, for we, we're saying in the modern women yeah. and modern life, yeah the contraception must meet the needs of the woman. Yes. You know, so if I, if for me, taking a pill every day works better because I think it's got less hormone and other, if it, it, mm -hmm. my, nice, my skin gets nice and brighter, yeah. I would rather go for the method because remember, you're gonna force a child to take yeah. depo, yeah. they get all these side effects that you didn't tell them about, yeah. and then they're gonna be scared to come back and tell you that this was happening to me. They'll just not stop, they'll stop taking it. Mm. You mm. can't pull them to yeah. the clinic, mm. you can't mm. make them take it, you know, but mm. because most of the girls, I can tell you, the young ones have started mm. contraception, they yeah. just never remained on it. I think I've, I've heard so much about this uh, withdrawal, uh, some call it pull, pull out pull and out, everything, yeah. uh, but I don't think they understand and how much power are you giving to your boyfriend or your man at that moment? You know what worries me more? It's not about that. If you use the withdrawal method, it mm. means one in every five times you have pregnant, uh, sex, you can fall pregnant. Mm. So there's like about 70% chances of you preventing the pregnancy. Mm. But over and above that, remember that we are saying that we want to prevent other sexually transmitted diseases. Mm. So a condom is a must. Mm. Whether you're using a hormonal contraception, you, it pills or, or injection, yeah. you still have to use a condom. So that's mm. what we must prevent. You know, I remember when I was in medical school, one professor used to say, I remember in the olden days when HIV came, there was A, B, and C. Mm. So you abstain, you become faithful, and then you compromise. He used mm. to say he wants to live in the life where it's going to be C, C, C. Mm. Condom, 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 condom. Whether you are married or not married, whether you are on a, on a method or not on a method, condom, condom, condom must just be standard. Mm. The government, the, our health department has also instituted the dual protection. Mm. So it doesn't matter what method you are using, you must always use condom. a condom. Because we're not worried more about pregnancy. We're worried more about pregnancy and the and STIs. getting oh, remember right. the baby will be born after nine months mm. but if you're hiv positive you're going to remain with it for the rest of your life doctor just before we go for an ad break i don't work at the right morning after pill because somehow people think that because it's called the emergency uh, mm -hmm. uh, contraceptive mm -hmm. you can just keep using it mm -hmm. how do we work with that the unfortunate thing is that the morning after plus one have got a high dose you can imagine mm. they've got a very high dose of 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 hormones mm. in it and they're only ideally effective if you take it as early as possible okay so they there's some some will say within 72 hours but the greatest efficacy the most effective time is within the first 12 hours mm. so the problem is once we take this high hormones it disrupts your whole uh, normal system, yeah. normal system so you can't keep taking it. You can take it for that emergency, but we advise that rather be on something more uh, stable, something mm. more, th that you don't have to take this high dose of the hormone because there's never really a study of, of somebody who takes the high, the morning after pill every day or every week. Mm -hmm. Because it's such a high dose, the assumption is that you're going to take it only once. Mm. Once in a while you'll take it. But why do you want to do that to yourself? Mm. But how private is it, Raul, that morning after pill? Because we hear, Jorge, they don't allow boys to go and fetch it on your behalf. Uh, but we also know that there is this shameful, normally stigma, clinic or morning after pill, especially for one of the rural areas, because mm. anti -babona, Baba, Baba, clinic, yeah. Yeah. Mm. so how do we, find a solution for that? I think there's a new drive now that says that all the healthcare professionals must start talking about sex with people and contraception without mm. stigmatizing it. Mm. So there's no longer, I can't go to the clinic because my mom obviously worked there or my mm. neighbor is going to be a nurse. We're trying to <coughs> destigmatize this. Mm. But talking about the morning after, please, a funny story that I had was I went to a clinic's clinic uh, click pharmacy mm. to buy some over-the-counter uh, um, tablets. But then I see everybody was filling in the slip. Mm. So I'm thinking, okay, this is a new clicks I've never been to. Maybe they want my personal details. So I go in and I'm like, this guy, no, why are you not giving me the pink slip? Mm. It's like, oh no, that's only for the people that are here for morning after pills. But I'm sure it was every second girl oh, on the queue, sure. you know? And what worried me was that you come in, they dish it yes. to you, but there's no one saying to you, 
instead of using this, be on Here's this particular one. Or, mm. or, or this is the information that you must, you know. They just collect this information, but we're not following up on these young girls about it. And whether or not it's the every week that you are coming, if I don't remember your face, I'll never know. So I just give you a different mm. thing, Slip. I think that's a knowledge. Mm. We don't get this knowledge about uh, sex as well. But let's go to a break in Masbuya. Onkus, Dr. Sponga, let us go in Sakona. So basically, just as well, trying to find out who Taman Bebazi Yini and give us a call now. Good to move from Paula Ekasa, Mr. Koko. When I became pregnant, I was 16. And you know when you are 16, you are young, you know nothing about pregnancy. And I did not tell my parents, uh, I noticed what we call morning sicknesses. You know, I was still at school, it was not easy for me. You know, I started vomiting in the morning, vomiting and vomiting, becoming dizzy during a uh, class time. So I told my mother, who tell mama now, who get I'm just saying about dizzy, my sister's class in, and my hands, and has wins a galan. Because I was intelligent, you know, I thought maybe I was being bewitched. <laughs> my mother took me to the doctor and he ran some few tests and I did not tell my mom that I'm pregnant. The doctor phoned my mother to give her the results and my mother came home from work knowing already that I'm pregnant, but I was in the dark. You were having a child young, it's not easy, you know. It comes with resentment and the way the community now perceive you and you face the rejection from the community, from your class teachers, from some of the family members. Now, now your friends are no longer allowed to associate with you. They think, as though and physically, there's no much damage but it leaves you with that stigma. A teenage who's pregnant now, accept the situation. Don't feel embarrassed. It happened. Love your child. Tell um I love you. Um because children face rejection from the womb. And when they come out, they already have the signs of anger and bitterness. That's one thing we don't understand. A rejection, it doesn't come. You don't experience it so called. We experience so like so as a swing, um done. So that young teenage or pregnant magatan lum tana and abe humble if God um fun design but um tana am nani maga in zeki second time ulogo umita when umitela in lean. And abang aga be pregnant, babang nan, mabazam, my God, you know, uguti, bazam gus patagasi. Welcome back to Daily Teton. So, level of your teenage pregnancy in South Africa, is it such a big problem that we need to actually solve it as quickly as possible? And really, how have, how is it possible, Jorge? We've come to the point where we have normalized the situation. We are joined on the couch by Noctula Mbata, who is a student. She fell pregnant at the age of 17. And then we also have Ceci Nokwanda Ngozo, who fell pregnant at the age of 15, and she's now 18, and you're both students. Welcome to Daily Teton. Thank you. You know, it's when it happens to you, it's something that you are not you're not expecting it. Right? It's like something and then you're like, how I I'm now vomiting, can I the morning sickness? So I'm trying to understand Hore, when you started engaging in sex, did you have somewhere in the back of your mind Hore, the possibility of Gafola pregnant? The time ya kuma pret mama mangche lati okay since now so so menstruator mm. there are things you must know and maso maso menstruator so you might get pregnant any at, 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 at any okay. time mm. yeah so angche luguti I must not do this I must not sleep with a boy if I do I must use a condom mm. okay and then last year mm. yeah I met someone. And then we had sex, and then from that I get pregnant. Mang to mang you are pregnant, and then as long I'm jealous, my mom, I go lie. As long I'm jealous, and then I call you notice, so good, okay, sharp, and you go sharp. I'm with you, 
Yelena Guma Perot from Jalangata, young Yele last month, and writing a pregnancy test. So that's when at all. When you were having sex, this name to like, Liberis is a condom. When I love it. No. For first time, the, as I. The first time. And yeah. then did you fall pregnant that first time? Yeah. So it was your first time having yes. sex, and then I fall pregnant? Yes. Okay. No one. Uh, because. Um, Abantu ba shabani, abai nagi nda ba yego tingenza kaba ba numtu ana. But it affects your anger in pilo akok tolo numtu ana at at the age wa ugi ona lesukat. Well, for me, because like my family was like really supportive. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. Apart from the fact that things changed between the numtu bengo zona na ina. Question check and check. Like it was like when we started dating. Yeah. He's a kasi guy, being clear about my suburbs. So whenever we meet, kasi like he be gulo kayo prega, he go to which one is his girl. Yeah, but so when I felt pregnant, I was like, "Sexy fully the gram, so we cut saba ang." Then he started cheating and all of that. But because the feminine was there, it was it wasn't that bad. Bo as in go to maula la no monto ngapanda we condom ngenza we go to ukulele or it's something a shocker well. No, it wasn't shocking because well, me nanga kuliswa. His stepmother, like being yeah. a girl in Nam. So when I started my my program, she took me to like a professional. Okay. Shall I pants? I don't want to a kuma among chintini. One was with singing a funa na preventa. Yeah. And at that time, like being busy, a school and being an assistant structural by then, I was like, no, I'm just a minna. I'm saying it. Yeah. And then like I'm not just too proud. I'm not nine. And then I started dating ya at school, and I was dating a younger guy than me. Yeah. I'm not just too uzong di and telling saying be red. Yeah. Then I started like going out like na ngamanga ni ba selokshi ni then ni bang fagi into and then I dated Bob Mutanam. And then I was like excited to date him because I got to meet his mother. We wanna listen to his like you know like he was pulling me in. And then for the first month it was fun, being respect, alright. Na yewang linda ngazi ngamtu kuti na mirid. Did you have a chance to negotiate in danger of condom? We did. Like when he first had sex, because I was no longer virgin, like I seven days. It was just that one day. Le kuti angazi noma sa singa kaba ngo we just caught up in the mood. It just happened. Nkala wun buza both of you and anyone can respond to this. Doctor Swongi le ubule katava la kore. Most of us, especially most South Africa, are not about the STIs and the HIV that is possible before pregnancy. Is it because pregnancy is born and and so most of us we would worry about more of the pregnancy than the STIs. Hence, why are we these things about withdrawal and all those things? Do you think that's how the youth thinks? Okay, if ne u u have sex, first thing we talk about. What if you are pregnant? I will cover my STIs because I will come to talk to you any time soon. We go to the STI. Yeah, we go to yeah, we go to your call. So if pregnant, it's just to see a call. But to buzz about, we go okay. So I will learn. So we cover it when that thing. The day you, I can, you had sex once. Yeah. So if you buzz about, what was the first thing that was running through your mind? And you put in, you buzz, you, you, you know, a very important question. You go to, did you have a chance? You go to, you put in, you tell, you go to, you tell us seven days condom. Okay, we school me fall in. I'm telling you, say okay, we na okay. Bang telling you, say mama buy vitin, mama break any condom, go through. Okay. Abad. 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 Okay. But go through. Okay, sharp. Must figure as long as I tell you, say to go to school me yenda vaza ma condom. Yeah. Because we're sabelu go through. Yeah. Okay. All right. There's a comment coming in from o Princess Muku. Uti, I'm 18 this month and I had a baby last year, June. Let us not blame our parents for our actions. Parents warn us, but we choose to experiment uh, for ourselves. Almost all teenagers or teenage moms have babies because we are ignorant. We don't listen to our parents and we even taught at school, but we still get pregnant every day. Let me come to you, <laughs> my sister. Do you think that uh, ignorant is cutting us? Yes, but you feel like it is because we, we deceive our parents, yeah. tell them lies because we want to go see her and see her and my boyfriend. What kind of lies do you tell your parents? Now? Like me, for instance, yeah. so I was traveling, yeah. so I would lie to my granny. I would say, I would say, I would say, I would say, extra classes, songs, I would say, 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 I
Ya wenga babo mtana miso Sinkaluk te itana na ye Mina bengenza u grade 9 yeah. Yena enzu grade 12 Wema mtala nga nana He's five years older than me mm. Yeah Going back to that yeah. comment yeah. Sisno Kwanda doesn't look like she agrees with Princess Utin I I do actually get to like we don't have to blame my parents. Mm. When I was going to a boyfriend them, mm. by the time I was dating him, my parents knew good I had a boyfriend. Mm. 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 Why not mm. like being a tool? Being like being at sea, woman and fundi leg nabbing one at him on. I took Jola Musa Wusha Wutu Gamelo or fall pregnant. So that's what I'm trying to understand. Uguti, there is Uk Jola and then there's having sex, unprotected sex that might lead to a pregnancy. Yeah, that's like. The boy I dated before, Babum Danam, John was like, he's one year younger than me. Mm. Like, nah, yeah, because I say, Virgin, and I wasn't. Mm. And I began like, I got a hang a lap. Mm. And I began calling and doing no sex before me. He, he wasn't boring, like. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to go for a quick end break. When we come back, we'll pick it up with you, Sis Nokwanda. Please do stay with us. <laughs> but who's the guy you're dating? Welcome back to Daily Tetas, I couldn't about teen pregnancy and wanna find out exactly what teen Lady de Labantona Abaning a good tea baz toles a bekule lebesse colin as well. As a bazali, what can we do to prevent a situation if an alen? maybe we have a solution in a car, give us a call. It's 0113391315. Let's find out on social media. The hashtag is Daily Teta, what's happening? Uh Mtoko Zisi Ika Tikabisa Omari, Uti, my daughter is twelve years old and she looks sixteen. My neighbors are on about her running a risk of uh, getting pregnant because of time. Um I feel like understand that uh, they are shocked but what should I do as Umzali because introducing her to contraceptives may look like I'm giving her a go ahead to an early age sex. Doctor what do you think of that? Uh, because I think some parents they don't even want to talk about sex because they feel like I'm actually saying now you can have it. I think the issue should be not giving her go ahead to have early sex. Mm. The as a parent, you must think about it as empowering your child. Yeah. Because uh, once you give her the information, she'll decide when to have the sex. Mm. And when that time comes, she'll know exactly what to do. Mm. So you mustn't think about you giving yourself permission to go ahead and have sex with anyone. Mm. Just think about it as putting the future of your child Let before anything else. Let's something, doctor, because uh, maybe we can talk about this for Iskata Sita. I want to find out from you, Uguti, in your research that you've done, uh, what age by this age mo, most of them they are having sex yes abantu batho ha ba tshwane ne so ntse tsa galang ke it depends on na o go letse kae o gola le bomang le influence ya area around you i mean na ha ke le when i was in my early 20s which is 20 years ago in my early 20s ne i made a 15 year old child ke le wa re ditho gola ya man wena o 15 ke ngwana wa bi two what's happening wait are go na re ah wena re tlo judge why wena o sna ngwana so i understand the background ya ga ge le ya ka haetswane na ke 20 something years i'm thinking okay na tsone ke ke nyalwe then ke bele ngwana but because now my, my parents, Mama Kaha, very open about talking about sex. I'm sure Luhana, three kids later, she thinks I'm a virgin. I can tell you that much. <laughs> so Mama Kaha comfortable talking about it. But mm. now I had an older sister. So we could talk about these things, which we didn't do with our younger sister. Nice. You know? mm. So now because my sister is around the same age, the Luhana discuss sex, little boyfriend, how to love boyfriend, then Utlam Plela, this is what happened to my friend. Robert. So at that particular point, you are in, taking it in. And Luhana, I mean, in my generation, yeah. we didn't have a lot of teenage pregnancies. I yeah. see. But let's quickly come back to the couch. We're going to talk more about that because Nabono Wanda as well. We want to mm. go back to them. But on the couch, we do have Kabele Malifane, or activist as well as uh, Usis Jennifer Papers, a social worker from FAMSA. Guys, welcome to Italy Tata. Mm. Thank you. Uh, let me start with your story because uh, you have such an interesting story, uh, Kabele. At the age of 23, you are 18 years. That's a very early age. Uh, just like every other person spoke earlier on, Abazali, my parents, I just got a packet of condoms in my bag. Yeah. Ne? And at that time, I'm a virgin mm. uh, in my 18 years. Mm. And I was like thinking, by far, Ganjan, by, by far, by by she, by she, you're, you're washing, yes, by she, about anything. So, fitama condom. Yes. Okay. And those are the only people you stay with in the house. Mm. So, that was my condom talk, I can say, Nabaz yeah. Albam. And at the age of 23, yeah. which is Mom Nani, at the age of 23, you think that is love. Yeah. And you always think, Guti, this is my happy ever after. Yeah. Koto, what happened was she fell pregnant and began a metric. 
and Mina was way done with school. Mm. What happened was she failed her matric, Waba Numtuan. Yeah. And then after that, we broke off. But now the challenge is, as one of the comments that came through here from Princess Ati, teenage moms. Mm. Mm. It's not supposed to be like teenage moms, it's supposed to be teenage parents, parents. Yeah. Mm. because it takes the two of us. Mm. So but you were no, long, were no longer a teenager. Mean, I was no longer a, a yeah. teenager, yeah. but I could also have had this norm like any other teenager, a guy, Suguti, uh, pregnant, it's not me. Mm. But what happened with me was I pushed Uguti, you know what, you can still go and rewrite your metric we can still go back to your home and see Guti. But, but let's, let's speak about that, because mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. the person caring is Sisu in Tombazan. Yes. In your understanding, do you think, Jorge, it's more difficult and more prejudiced for the woman than the man when there is a teenage pregnancy? Yes, it is. It is, and young boys need to know that. Mm -hmm. Like, young men or young boys need to know that, Guti, it's not easy for the girl child, mm -hmm. especially when they are pregnant, because mm -hmm. the clinic dates, the girl has to go. Mm -hmm. So if it was supposed to be the girl and the boy going to the clinic, mm -hmm. at least the, uh, the boy will understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fast forward, I'm married now, I have another kid, mm -hmm. but because I'm raising this one, I used to want six kids, mm -hmm. but I'm good with this one <laughs> because you understand the sleepless nights yes. so now i can actually sympathize with the previous mom to say the sleepless nights big i want and the big i want mm -hmm. what was happening when the child was sick mm -hmm. where else with this one now i can easily say you know what i can take the brand and say Whew, i have to go to work and i've got a nine o'clock meeting yes. and i'm so tired let's let, let's bring famsa into the conversation famsa jennifer when i was growing up my mother used to say books before boys because boys bring babies is that good enough advice? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked. <laughs> yeah, we need to have honest, open conversations mm. with our kids and talking about growing up, that's yeah. how I grew up. In my mm. house, they used to just talk. And sometimes we'd be like, well, can they actually say that? Mm. But the truth is, I waited until I was at varsity before I had a boyfriend, because I was so scared mm. um so we need to have those open open honest conversations and there's still a taboo in our societies inside our homes about sex mm. at the end of the day your child is going to have sex whether or not you know about it or whether or not you think your child is that innocent or you just want to be in denial mm. it's going to happen and we, we, we have a problem with this actually because we've been saying it throughout the show yeah. um, that we should start having conversations with our girls once they have their period. Yeah. No, it should be an 18 year long conversation. Yeah. Start as soon as possible. Start as soon as a child is a baby when you're changing their mm. nappy. Um, sexuality. Mm. There's, there's um, genitals there where you're changing the diaper. Mm. Just start teaching your kids um, about their sexuality and as they grow up they'll feel more comfortable to come to you and talk about anything. Mm. Jennifer, let me jump in. Um, I, I think I've, I've listened to a lot of cases. Some girls yeah. of the age of 15 getting uh, kids, 14 mm -hmm. as well. Let's look at the legalities of this. Mm -hmm. um, isn't that not a case whereby we shouldn't just entertain it, it's, it's a father but that person needs to go to jail? Yeah. Um, what, is, what, is, what is the age that you think people should start having sex? And I have a huge problem with, um, with that because the number of rights states that, first of all, uh, a, a girl child is not supposed to have sex before the age of 16. Yeah. If she does, it means that it's statutory rape. The mm. person can go to prison. Mm. At the same time, we say that um, a girl at the age of, from the age of 12 years old has the right to go to the clinic and ask for contraceptives mm. and can also have an abortion without the consent of, of the parent or the mother. Mm. But then what are we saying? We're accepting the fact that the child can come for contraceptives, but we don't ask questions but as to... But contraceptives mean that you must have sex? Um, because going back to what Dr. Spongini said, it's empowerment. Mm. It's yeah. knowing that there is an option if you do get into that. Mm. I understand that, mm. but I work in Alex and yes. I see a lot. We have issues of rape. Yeah. We have is issues of incest. Mm. And those are huge issues that contribute also to teenage pregnancy, whether we want to look at it or not. But then is that not then why they say 12? So that if it does happen, for instance, rape, those things. But at 16, it's still statutory rape. But how are we protecting our kids if we don't ask the questions and we just accept to say, come and mm. have contraceptives, but 
actually who are you having sex with at mm. the age of 12 mm. years mm. old mm. rather than handing over the contraceptives allowing the perpetrator to continue having sex or raping that child mm. you, you understand mm. so there is a contradiction within our Bill of Rights. So how do we correct that? We have to somehow correct that so that we protect our kids as well. I think when we come back from the break, we'll give the, our audience as well to uh, to weigh in on the subject. to go to about Welcome back to Daily Tet and Sir by a teenage pregnancy is Renuko Chiba Horna Bana Baba for Lang pregnant. Pregnant I keep mang and what can the law law possibly do? We are taking your calls on 011 339 1315. We've got anonymous from Johannesburg. Dumela? Hello? Lekai Papa. It's only Rehon. You perpetuate your situation because you impregnate someone at 18. No one has been pregnant. So, <laughs> Baba soft, Baba was the back of the field, and Baba was eating on home too. Oh, I am going to see a one to an awashing time to Ramga cool. Sunshine, Baba. And what you might know, my friend, my trip of Kalan with Melanga. Was it funny who told me and that responsibility alone to an awashing corner? Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you, Siabong. Let's take it back to the car screen. Yeah. I think there's something that we might have missed there from the caller because he was speaking uh, to, uh, about the fact that it's almost like a vicious circle. Doctor Sbongi le chore gen nangaba lingwana, and then uh, from a teenage pregnancy, lin nangwana ake. It's possible chore liye nangaba le teenage pregnancy. Is that how it works? It's it's the same. I mean, it, the one thing that makes it a vicious circle is the lack of conversation. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to say to your child, like, listen, this is what happened to me. I was 16, I mm. had you. I don't want you to go through what I went through because mm. this is exactly what happened to me. Mm. You don't tell your child. Mm. Then she's assuming that your mama can't tell me anything because mm. Lena, I didn't let mm. who understand. Mm. So we don't sit down and, and have a one-on-one -on -one mm. and a hardcore discussion with our children because, one, you might find her mad and washed. Mm. She also had a baby. So I don't well, know how... Well, I did it so but I think as parents we just have to be responsible enough mm. to make sure that we just tell our children this, the truth about everything mm. Mm. let's go on social media because uh, since we talked about in about this there is uh, enough condoms it's just that our youth is irresponsible uh, soon it will be spring day and they will be playing <laughs> with them uh, plus the school provides sex education they just don't uh, pay attention I'm in grade 9 and there is a pregnant girl in our class. I don't know what's her story, but we do have a book that talks about sex for a life orientation. Let me come to you, uh, Noganda, as well, next to me. Do you think Gutaba ni nagatle gatle ni ignorant when it comes to isn't dating to sex? Because and as I think from primary, you got this funda ngayo nento de. Yeah. Ogu tushlo ayi nukaba ngama sis na ba fana angas. One thing I know is we start feeling. Ngala ngama sis ni na ba fana ifi nufunda ngayo nkinde kuvale gamaze. Basically, we forget about everything as if in the school. Yeah. Mm. The time you prefer to be a kumbulu, you take from the life science, be a kumbulu, go and get a good life orientation. But at the time you cool, you're a kumbulu, you're going to look. Actually, let me come to you as well. Abanya mat bebe shoot. My parents are fundi. Some my parents are not talking to us. But abanya mat no. Even the school, you're fundi about these things. But you guys choose to ignore all these things once we are born. Um, fun. 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 Um, fun.
Like, back to back, yo, 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 but now, the problem is that I'm having sex without a condom. As I'm not cash, I mean, as I'm like hoping for me to have cash. The only problem that I have in my uh, mostly getting nests, I'm sorry, getting nests because I look like I'm not getting nests. But the nests are like if, if after having sex without a condom and then we are go to clinic. What's about the nurse, but I'm judge, community, maybe my one knows that go 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 clinic. So, it's one of the problems. So, it's mm. about the morning after pill, yeah. after having uh, sex without a condom. Mm. Jelly for parting shot for you in closing uh, in closing um, we need to continue opening up the um, there's a gap there yeah. communicating talking mm. about sex making yeah. it less taboo as well mm. and just empowering continue empowering our young girls and boys it's not just about the young mom mm. it's about the father as mm. well mm. and it, we need to just continue that Kabela, do young boys want to be involved in their children's lives yes young boys do want to be involved um, with the work that I do with Kemp's uh, Anani Life mm. Skills, uh, these are some of the topics that we get to cover when we talk about what is it that boys love from mm. girls and what is it that girls love from boys. Such a simple activity, you end up seeing that girls will have a whole list, mm. but else boys only have five points. Mm. So now you get to talk about those things, ranging from gender-based violence, mm. all these things that are affecting our girls out there. The boys are really wanting to be part of it. It's just the matter of us opening up and saying, boys, mm. come and get mentors if you don't have you a father. You said boys, but I'm five short, but I'm five, but I'm five. Five, 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 five points. <laughs> what, what are those points? Quick one. Like, uh, una ma kevs. Mm. Oh, She's wow. beautiful. We are respect her. Oh, wow. Irrespect is the one that gives the boys more power, by the way, because they think they can have everything they want to say about mm. Indomazan. And then maybe the last one will be maybe cheese girl, as you are saying. Okay. That's going in a parting I think for me, what's going to be important is to make sure that the clinic, mm. nearly all the methods, mm. and I'm trying to talk about the contraception, it's not just. You are 15, I will give you this one. Mm. Because Have of time. A, yeah, because get of all time. the types. See, I'm going to call it a nice cut. I call it a sick valley, but it's cut. It's a little bit of a Yes, guys, to remember that contraceptives are available and also have the conversation. Sasa, I'm going about the community policing forum. That's what we're talking about tomorrow. Why are you not saying bye-bye?